Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you are going to answer your criterion B developing ideas for the product, product design class. Now, as you can see in the first page, the first page will determine on the score that you are going to be receiving from zero to eight. And then we want to target on the higher level so that uh, you, you know the criteria that uh, it is specified. So this is called task specific clarification. So uh, in each assessment, I'm going to evaluate if you are worthy for this level, okay, this seven or eight level or lower. Now, uh, in each one, I'm going to show you on how you are going to determine if you are going to, or you were able to reach this goal. Now, for the second page, you can now see that uh, what is our statement of inquiry, and then it is about communication through design and technology. Now, for the first task, you need to define what is personal improvement, self-reflection, and annotation. Now, this means that it is, it is supposed to be in your own definition, all right? Now, the, the next one is our design challenge. Now, our design challenge is that you are going to create a poster and then you are going to show me your learner's profile and our grade, uh, KCIS grade. Now, you are applying for a job and then this poster will be given as a, like a resume. Now, in the first task, it, we are going to use the Access FM for design specifications or it's also called the success criteria. Now, we're going to, in, going to look into what is uh, Access FM. Now, Access FM, the A stands for aesthetics, so it means that what does the product look like? Now, uh, for, for answering this, this segment, you need to look into what I am looking for. So you're going to develop a specification and then outline two or more valid reasons why this specification is a good design. Now, here, in, this is an example of the specification, but it is not directed to the post, making of poster. This is directed of making a, a bag so that you have an idea and have a slight information about it. Now, aesthetic is for the product. What does it look like? So for example, here, the bag is bright, floral, etc. So it it shows you what is that kind of specification. Now, what does it look like? Color, the size, the not the size, the outlook and how it looks like. Now, the cost is for how much is going to be made or people will buy it so it's it might be 40,000 or above so your poster it might be lower than that now uh, for the customer who is the customer so who is a customer going to buy this or who is going to use it now for this example for this assignment the target is is will be women and then it uh, about what age now for the customer you need to make sure that it is uh, for this criteria it is the boss of the company so you're not selling it you're going to give this one to the boss now uh, how uh, what is the criteria for your boss? You already know who is the boss in this example. Now, for the environment, where where would the product be used or stored? And how would it impact the environment? So, you are going to think about that the, the poster will be stored in where and how will it be used? So, it's going to be used by the 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 owner of the company and how would it be impacted so you're going to look into how it can be recycled how can be it um, it can be used for by the by the uh, co customer so the customer is the boss now uh, for the size okay for the size for this example what is the size of the product so you're going to look into the specification so for the poster I've uh, written on the manage bag on what is the size of the poster itself. Now, for safety, 
okay how safe it is going to be used or how safe it is going to be made so you're going to look into how the safe safety of the making the poster is going to be given all right now function okay and the function how would the poster be be used as so when it be created are are is a product workable okay and the material what is it made of okay these are the examples of making a uh, a bag now you're going to look into how the the poster should look like okay that will be your specification okay so in each in each box i said here that you need to have at least two or more valid reason so why is it important okay now for the second second is you're going to present two ideas so you're going to make sketch okay for this one so it said here that present two or more well thought and organized feasible design so at least two design that you need to do all necessary are specified annotation so you have to give an annotation so annotation means oh, what is it represented or what is the specification on that in the drawing itself now here uh, drawing measure dimension size color description and so forth so this should be satisfied so this is this example is not satisfied by the seven and eight okay so you need to have more explanation for this example now for this example uh, this is not seven and eight so it could be three or four now here uh, sketch of dimension specification so you have to have a sketch okay written by paper and then uh, write down the for example the size the dimension the what is this going to be okay is there strap going to be length or what the, what is the length of the strap so you're going to detail more more about this now and then for analysis you are going to tell me what is good and what is bad about the design okay now uh, the second one the second second sketch is the same okay so you should have two sketch of your product which is the poster itself okay now the third is you're going to present the describing of which one you're going to be doing all right so here present chosen design and outline logical uh, reason so you're going to choose one from the two that you made okay and then the selection will be referenced by the specific design so here you have two design okay and then you're going to tell me which one you want to make okay so because what because of what kind of specification in this analysis pros and cons so you have to be deliberating this idea now the fourth strand is to develop accurate planning drawing diagram so you're going to be making another diagram okay another diagram outline requirements and creation of this solution so if for example you you already decided that you're going to going to select sketch number one so you are going to make another sketch that is even better okay and more detailed about the sketch number one so in this one it said you have to be logical okay outline the logic of it okay why do you want to you to use the sketch number one and then give me the reasons and reference to the specification why in this specification why do you think that it is important to use this sketch so you uh, for example here this is an example of uh, a sketch that is writ written even better okay so all the dimension all the lines are given and then what is the importance in it so in your poster you you need to put in all the details that we we talk about in class now the and then you're going to explain okay explain the details in it so the details can be about the the 
the material okay amount of material how much the tools you you use how much time did you you estimated okay and then the the steps in creating the product so uh, at the end you need to explain okay explain make sure that you answer all of these questions in complete sentence all right complete sentence and in more descriptive manner okay uh, it needs to be more descriptive on how you express your in your ideas in more information more ideas presented and more communication from you to me all right